In case you haven't noticed, bald eagles are now everywhere in Georgia, and eagle cams like the one at Berry College are becoming more and more popular every day. In a recent study, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources found that for the third straight year, the number of active nests exceeded the 200 mark, with each nest producing on average around three eaglets. An amazing comeback when you consider that as recently as 1970, there were no active nests in Georgia, and the bald eagle was on the endangered species list. So what changed? Why are bald eagles now thriving in Georgia, and how did they land on the endangered list in the first place? These are questions we posed to Georgia DNR expert Pete Griffin during a recent wildlife day at the Newton County Tax Commissioner's office. The, the biggest thing is our national bird, and this bird was almost extinct. And the reason is because several different things, one of them was attributed to DDT, and it's a um, chemical sprayed on crops to get rid of bugs. And so when the rains would come and it would wash that DDT off and into the water, fish would absorb it. And eagles love to eat fish. And then they would absorb it. And when the eggshells, when they became so thin, when mom went to lay them, they'd crack wide open. So we were losing them rapidly. So we outlawed DDT. We protected them under amendments. Uh, uh, and we did it so well that they have come back tremendously. I think they're so beautiful and they're such a wonderful natural resource and it's so wonderful that they're, that they're our national bird and it's just really important that we protect all of our natural resources but the eagle in particular really seems to, to grab people's hearts. With the largest nest of any bird in North America, a bald eagle is somewhat of a master architect. Their nests typically measure up to 13 feet deep and over eight feet wide and believe it or not, weigh more than a ton. Another interesting fact is that bald eagles choose a mate for life and each year the pair returns to that very same nest. But ensuring those nests stay protected and that the eagles continue to thrive remains an ongoing process. You can help the eagle and other natural species in Georgia. Your, your natural resources right here in Georgia, you can help those animals through the purchase of a wildlife tag. And our wildlife tags are not only the cheapest specialty plates in Georgia, but we also actually get that money to go where it's needed. So for a wildlife plate, it's only $25 extra a year to upgrade. And every time you pay that $25, 80% of your $25 comes right back to DNR and we put it into wildlife programs. So you're directly supporting the species such as the eagle eagle, the hummingbird, etc. One of the things we have that we do, um, we have hacking programs where we actually raise uh, different sites. We'll raise the babies, sometimes using a puppet. They don't see us at all. It's not a good thing for them to attribute us with food or to get used to us. So we use a puppet. And by doing that, when it's time for them to fledge or leave, if they see a human, they're out of there. They don't want anything to do with it. So it's, it's, it's a very unique type of a, a setup, but it's a, a neat thing that we've got going on all over the state. In a perfect world, they could live about 35 to 40 years, but it's not a perfect world. People will shoot them. Uh, people actually will poison them. Uh, one of the biggest things is habitat fragmentation. When they tear up the habitat, they have no place to live. They have no place to, to breed or to feed, sure. And that's a big problem that we're facing with that. 